As of 2018, the Ocean Service has said that over 80% of our ocean is unexplored. Although many have said that space is one of the last unexplored frontiers, the argument could also be made that our oceans make that list. After all, we've done a great job at mapping hard-to-reach regions on our planet, but haven't managed to research certain regions of our oceans. Interestingly, various amateur researchers have come forward over the years with some strange discoveries, some of which they say that proves our oceans are much more mysterious than we make out. This discovery was sent to me a few days back by one of my subscribers, and they said that they think they've discovered a large underwater structure. This was found close to Isla Coronado, which can be found just off the shoreline of Mexico's Baja California Peninsula. One of the first things that stands out about this structure is how big it is. Not only that, but there's nothing around the area that matches the look of this object, and this has caused some to speculate that it could be something mysterious. Sometimes with these discoveries, underwater researchers explain that they're just natural formations, where amateur researchers suggest they look artificial. This giant structure appears to have what looks like pillars going around the entire formation, so what could it be? One idea is that governments across the world have built underwater bases. This idea isn't supported by officials though, as they've said these currently don't exist. But certain countries have hinted that underwater structures do exist. And like some have pointed out, it's not like they're going to just tell you the truth if this was the case. They would likely want to keep something like this a secret from the general public. Due to the trail that can be seen behind the object, it's caused some to suggest that these types of structures are actually moving, and that it could be linked to past civilizations or even things like unidentified flying objects. The idea of there being civilizations that have been lost to the waves is nothing new. Researchers working at Lund University came forward and said they found a Stone Age civilization beneath the sea. This has caused some to be more open-minded when these types of discoveries are made, saying that there's likely many more ancient civilizations that are waiting to be discovered. People such as UFO researchers though have decided to look outside the box, and have suggested that what we're looking at could possibly be an unidentified flying object. It's important to remember though that the island is approximately 7 kilometers or 4.3 miles long, and this object is easily double that size. So if this is an underwater base or a UFO, it's massive. Other UFO researchers have said that these crafts are interested in our oceans, saying that some of the earliest accounts of UFOs were reported close to our oceans. Military officials have also talked about unidentified submerged objects. These are UFOs that are seen in and around our world's oceans, However, underwater researchers would most likely label this as a natural formation, noting that the area does have a large volcano, so perhaps this formation was created due to this. Other mysterious structures have been discovered that have caused some to question their origins, and one is that of the Fushin Lake Pyramid. This mystery is located in Fushin Lake, which can be found in the Yunnan province in China. This discovery was made back in 2006. Many reports were made by divers and water enthusiasts that would boat on the lake, and claim that the appearance of what seems to be underwater buildings could be seen. Enough reports were made, and on the 13th of June a team of archaeological divers decided to search the lake. They discovered the remains of a group of huge ancient buildings at the bottom of the lake, the most noted of them is a vast stone pyramid located in the centre. The archaeologists were stumped on how this massive structure got here completely intact. When they looked back through the historical records, they found evidence of an ancient city that was established in the area that is now Lake Fushian. However, this doesn't close the case on the mysterious pyramid. The local legends told that the city sank to the bottom of the lake. The historical records that were kept showed that the once capital was made mostly of wood and clay, but the remains that have been found at the bottom of the lake are made entirely of stone. 
Surveys of the land have revealed that the complex at the bottom of the Fushin Lake covers 10.8 million square feet. This is far larger than the once capital had ever been. So the mystery remains. Why was such a large city left without any remaining trace? What thickens the plot is the archaeological team went on to find carvings resembling a wearable mask. However, the mask had fat cheeks and indented teeth that do not match the facial characteristics of a human. Another stone mask was later found that had zeros and ones carved into a design. Some bricks of stone were also found on the buildings that had engravings that are similar in appearance to the Roman numeral 1 and the English letter Y. The question that then arises with this is not so much the unusual carvings themselves, but the fact that if this underwater pyramid is over 1,800 years old, what tools would have been used to make these carvings? As researchers have said that nothing from that time period would have been able to make something so detailed. In conclusion, mainstream scientists have even admitted themselves that the oceans are mysteries in their own right. A large portion of our oceans still remain unexplored, and it's anyone's guess as to what could be lurking in the depths. So far, scientists have discovered over 242,000 marine species. However, it's been estimated that every year over 2,000 new oceanic species are discovered. With the oceans being so vast and widespread, it's likely that scientists and researchers will be making discoveries well into the future. Scientists have done a great job at answering some of the ocean's mysteries, but it's important to keep an open mind about what could be laying in the depths. Who knows where the next discovery will lead us? So what do you guys think of this mysterious structure? Do you think it's an underwater base, or connected to UFOs, or do you think it's natural and could have been caused by the local volcanoes? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.